This weekend in Italy, we're celebrating the Festival of St. Joseph, La Festa di San Giuseppe, which is also Father's Day here in Italy. Uh, I'm in the north, though, in Tuscany, where they celebrate very differently than they do in the south of Italy. When the COVID restrictions for the regional borders open, I will be heading further south. So for now, I'm going to cook a little bit of a, a combination of dishes from the north and from the south, which will go on a St. Joseph's Day table. And we're going to take to the streets and ask some of the locals how they celebrate the Festival of St. Joseph. Come si celebra la festa di San Giuseppe a Montepulciano? A Montepulciano, come in tutta Italia, la festa di San Giuseppe è una festa importantissima. Sì. E cade insieme alla festa del papà, di tutti i papà. Noi mangiamo come dolci tipici le zeppole, i bignè di San Giuseppe con dentro la crema. Qualcuno li fa a casa, qualcuno se li compra in pasticceria. Anche le frittelle di riso è la nostra. Ah, ci fai? Frittelle di riso perché si fa cuocere il riso nel latte, viene dolce e poi le friggiamo e sono le frittelle di San Giuseppe. Le mele e poi si aromatizza con limone, con la puzza di limone, un po' di zucchero e poi si fringe e viene i polpigni e cadere. E poi si mangiano, è la cosa più importante. Conosci la uh, tradizione un po', forse un po' antichità, uh, un po' strano, uh, misterioso per San Giuseppe? No, no, no è no. stato San normale. Era San Giuseppe legname, era poi... un santo molto importante. Sì, sì. No, questo no. qui Io noi no. lo ricordiamo per questo motivo e poi perché... È il padre, il padre di tutti, sì. è un protettore. Abbiamo il nostro Giuseppe. Io oggi sì, due sì. feste faccio, San Giuseppe <ride> e papà. Ok, eh. grazie. So after I asked the couple, uh, Giuseppe and Antonella, who were born and raised in Montepulciano, if they knew anything about any type of, you know, mysterious or superstitious things related to the festival of St. Joseph, and they were just like, no, no way, it's a very important day, it's, it's, just, it's just religious. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, one hour away, this is happening. Basically, a burning man uh, in Pitignano. But this is just an example of how things change region to region and village to village. There's an ancient tradition in the far south of Italy, especially in Sicily, still today. On St. Joseph's Day, women plant seeds, and by Good Friday, when they bloom into flowers, they're gathered and they take them to the graveyards, and they wrap them with ribbon and set them on the graves to symbolize rebirth. So really, the whole festival, the whole day, is a symbol of, of the earth and rebirth. The south goes all out with full-on processions, all night through the village, and the altars they build are mostly made of uh, symbols that, that represent St. Joseph. The bread is made into staffs, or something from the manger, or flowers for spring. I really wanted to get the perspective from someone who is from the far south, since it's just celebrated so much more dramatically there. So I found this nice Sardinia man in the market. Hey, uh, che cosa mangia? per la festa di San Giuseppe, a Sardegna, a Sardegna, perché qui è fava, è pizzale di riso, però è Sardegna qui è eh, il tipo di cibo. Di San Giuseppe con tanta frutta, che ha messo il mosto e l'uva. So at this point, I'll just say, this is why Sardinians live so freaking long. He's telling me he eats fruits and nuts mostly <laughs> for the holiday, but that's really, every day it's really incorporated into their diet. But at this point, he's just telling me how to make Easter eggs. <laughs> he was super cute, and I didn't have the heart to tell him that we do know how to make Easter eggs, <laughs> that this is not something particular to Sardinia. Time to finish shopping real quick before we start to cook. This is the spot. 
Beautiful fava beans for St. Joseph's Day. Here you go, Agostino. Hold that one for me. All right, ready? Let's go. <laughs> St. Joseph's Day is a huge production in the South, and since we are Southern Italian, the dishes I'll be making today are mostly rooted in the South. The breadcrumbs that go on this dish are meant to represent the sawdust from San Giuseppe being a carpenter. These little flowers are really easy to make. You just roll out a little bit, like a sneak, small piece, put it in smaller pieces. Then you just roll them up, pinch so the dough sticks together, and then attach it to another one. And you keep going to make it as large as you want. So we roll up, pinch, and attach. And you keep doing this until you get a really long uh, piece of bread that looks almost like a, like garlic actually, like a string of garlic. No. Oh, yeah. The miracle is that you can be younger again. I know, right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. No, because I've seen a little bit of San Biagio, the San Biagio, many years ago. Many, many miracles. I don't know. No.
So you just drop the pata shoe in a tablespoon at a time, and they should puff up and float in the oil. They get nice and airy. And when they start to turn a little darker than this, that's when we're going to take them out. So I just fell in love with Giuseppe so much as I found out that he was a painter. So I went and visited him uh, at his shop. Okay. Giuseppe is just one of the many people I've met here in this short time who are the beating hearts of this medieval village. He is an amazing man. 3,200 Cypress Street. 3,200 trees you've painted yeah, and they're out perfect. somewhere in, in the this world. planet. Symbol of the new life, renaissance. Oh, it's very important it. for me. Yeah, it's the one next section in, in, in the world. You book. <laughs> That's an honor for me. Thank you. Um, We need way too many Sinky, so we're bringing them down to the guy who owns the shop, Giuseppe, and Antonella, uh, he's the painter in this village, and he saw the cypress trees, so I hope he doesn't think they're poison, because he doesn't know me well, but I think he's going to like them. Oh, okay. Due? Posso? Ah, sì, sì. Grazie. Ma, ma hai fatto tu? Sì. Dieci Grazie. minuti fa. Sì, mangio. Ok. Uh, non hai niente allergie? Tu? No, no, tu. Io no. No, ok, no. Questo no, no, no. è senza noce, però. Brava. Ok, ok. If you would like one of Giuseppe's hand-painted cypress trees shipped to you, I'm going to include a link um, below to his shop, which is called Arlu in the village of Montefulciano. The recipes that I made today are all available at chicalorestaurant.com. Please like and subscribe to this channel and join me next week when we spend some time with Cesare, an awesome coppersmith. Happy first day of spring, everyone. Ciao.